Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to learn about respiratory acidosis. In the introductory presentation, we already learned respiratory means we always refer to PCO2 or carbonic acid. So, what is the buffer? Bicarbonate buffer. So, we are referring to the denominator of this particular buffer. Respiratory acidosis. Acidosis means decrease in the pH or increase in the hydrogen ion. So, decrease or fall in the blood pH due to raise partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Increase partial pressure of carbon dioxide. Fall in the pH due to increase partial pressure of carbon dioxide. What will happen if there is increase carbon dioxide. So, this increase carbon dioxide is mainly due to hypoventilation. We will see what are the reason for this hypoventilation. What do you mean by hypoventilation? It's decrease rate of respiration. So, there is accumulation of carbon dioxide. What will happen this accumulation of carbon dioxide as a result of hyperventilation. So, when there is more carbon dioxide, it will combine with water and it will form carbonic acid. This is an acid component of this particular buffer. So, there will be elevation of carbonic acid. What will happen to the ratio now? So, normal ratio is 20 is to 1. Now, imagine this ratio is doubled. So, this ratio will decrease. Okay, Initially it is 20, now it will become 10. So, there will be decrease ratio of bicarbonate to carbonic acid. Whenever there is increased carbon dioxide, it will combine with water with the help of carbonic anhydrase enzyme, it will be converted to carbonic acid. So, there will be acidosis. Okay, This is respiratory acidosis. Decrease or fall in the pH due to accumulation of carbon dioxide. So, how this accumulation of carbon dioxide? There will be decreased respiratory rate or in other words hypoventilation. So, now we are going to study what are the reason for respiratory acidosis or causes for respiratory acidosis. So, we already know there is increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide or it is accumulation of carbon dioxide. So, this accumulation of carbon dioxide is due to hypoventilation. Now, we have to see what are the conditions where there is decreased respiratory rate. Number one, if there is any obstruction to airways. Imagine there will not be any normal respiration. There will be obstruction in the air passage. They cannot breathe properly. Accumulation of carbon dioxide. What are the conditions where there is obstruction to the airways or respiratory passage. This could be due to pneumonia. This could be due to pneumonia where there is a obstruction to the airways or respiratory passage. So, accumulation of carbon dioxide, it will be converted to carbonic acid, respiratory acidosis, bronchial asthma, emphysema. All these conditions lead to accumulation of carbon dioxide. Even chronic obstructive pulmonary disease called COPD. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. These are the reason for obstruction of the air passage. There will be accumulation. Another reason could be suppression of the respiration. So, we know that there is hyperventilation. This hyperventilation could be the obstruction or depression of respiration. This is iatrogenic. Maybe patient after operation, we want to sedate him. So, usually we will give morphine. So, this morphine actually relieves the pain, especially post-operative pain, morphine, betadine. All this drug actually suppresses the respiration or respiratory center. So, there will be definitely hypoventilation. So, there will be decreased respiratory rate or increase partial pressure of carbon dioxide or accumulation of carbon dioxide leads to respiratory acidosis. Sometimes if there is any sudden cardiac arrest, there will be severe hypoxia. That means there will not be blood flow to the brain. So, respiratory center is suppressed, there will be hypoventilation. This is hypoxia as a result of cardiac arrest, not due to high altitude. Cardiac arrest, so there will be 
there is sudden cardiac arrest there will not be any blood flow to the brain so there will be suppression of the respiratory center so that will be again there will be hyperventilation or any chest deformity chest deformity where there is patient is unable to respire properly or maybe weakness of the respiratory muscles so in all this condition there will be accumulation of carbon dioxide because of hypoventilation so listen carefully if there is accumulation of carbon dioxide that means this carbon dioxide will combine with water to form carbonic acid this is a acid so it can give hydrogen ion and bicarbonate so there will be increase in the denominator if there is increase in the denominator there will be decrease in the ratio of bicarbonate to carbonic acid initially 20 now it will become 10 now you should know definitely there is a decrease in the ph so normally our body tries to bring back this ph to normal our body there are three different mechanisms one is buffer respiratory and kidney so here we know that just imagine if the denominator is increasing how to bring back the ratio normal we have to increase the numerator that is bicarbonate how to increase the bicarbonate the best way we already learned bicarbonate is regulated by kidney either excretion or conservation or retention of bicarbonate it's mainly by kidney carbon dioxide is mainly by lungs so this is called compensation so now we know that there is already increase in the denominator that is carbonic acid our main goal is not to decrease the carbonic acid it will be restored normally after several days or maybe three four days after so our immediate goal is to or our body tries to bring back this ratio 20 is to 1 the ratio already decreased now it is 10 now so our body already there is increased acid component usually bicarbonate is excreted in the urine but our kidney tries to bring back this bicarbonate to the blood that means increase reabsorption of bicarbonate by the kidney the compensatory mechanism is mainly by retention or conservation of bicarbonate now initially now the denominator has become 2 so our body tries to make it 40 so that ratio 40 is to 2 again it will be equal to 20 is to 1 or 20 is to 1 the compensatory mechanism in respiratory acidosis is mainly by kidney by increase reabsorption of bicarbonate so in the urine usually so one is increase reabsorption or retention of bicarbonate by the kidney this is one of the compensatory mechanisms also we know that when you study the acid base balance kidney usually excrete titrable acids especially phosphoric acid which are called titrable acid and also ammonia so normally there will be excretion of acid and ammonia in the urine so kidney tries to excrete more this titrable acid phosphoric acid as well as ammonia so that it tries to minimize the acid other acid component so acid base balance will be restored so the major is retention of bicarbonate the final is respiratory regulation where you try to stimulate respiratory center okay so how this will happen acidosis means we know that there is increase in hydrogen ion concentration or decrease in pH so this increase in hydrogen ion concentration stimulates respiratory center in the brain and respiratory center in the brain stimulated there will be increased rate of respiration this is called hyperventilation remember the respiratory acidosis is due to hypoventilation that means decrease respiratory rate but compensation is by kidney by reabsorbing bicarbonate and also by lung by increasing rate of respiratory that is hyperventilation okay. respiratory acidosis was as a result of hyperventilation but regulation or bringing back the ph normal by hyperventilation
lungs also tries to bring back the ph by hyperventilation because increase hydrogen ion concentration decrease ph means increase hydrogen ion concentration which in turn stimulates respiratory center present in the brain so there will be increase respiratory rate this is called hyperventilation this is with respect to respiratory acidosis we will see later how to diagnose or interpret abg result after completing all the disorders thanks for watching